633 now and in the day ahead, a full ground search for Relisha Rudd resuming in Kenilworth Park. Yeah, the wet weather over the weekend forced a scaled back effort. John Gonzalez live in Northeast DC with more on just who will be joining in on the search today. John. Good morning, ladies. DC police cruisers once again surrounding this very large park here in Northeast DC as local and federal authorities start to move in for yet another day of searching Kenilworth Park. And you know, scuba divers will also be joining the search once again this morning. They spent the entire weekend in the Anacostia River and here at the Aquatic Gardens where there are seven man made ponds. Well, they will be back out here as the search for eight year old Relisha Rudd continues. Police will also be once again combing through the Days Inn Hotel off of New York Avenue where the child stayed with Kalim Tatum. That's where the two were last seen on March 1st. It was the next day when police believe Tatum went to a Home Depot nearby and purchased a bunch of trash bags and then spent at least two hours here at the park very close to his childhood home. Community groups and the public could join this massive search as early as today. The police chief has stated this is a recovery operation, but she's still holding out hope and so is the little girl's family. And the search of this 700 acre park by air, ground and now by water could take weeks. The police chief saying Tatum, who is charged with murdering his wife, also believed to have abducted this little girl. He and little Relisha have been missing now for nearly a month. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.